comes into play. So into Lightroom, we're back in here. Uh, let's close that. We've got our image now that in our library, we've got a whole number of them, but we're just going to work with one for now. So let's take this image and go into develop mode. Come down under our file, you'll see a number of export options. If we go into our export mode here, brings up this dialog box. It's going to ask you where do you want to put it, what are you going to do with the format, and if you scroll down, you'll see that we already had this set. Post-processing, after export, what do you want it to do? Its default is to do nothing. We've come in and we've created these two new processes so that after it is done with and gone through Lightroom, it's going to go through these actions that we've created the droplet for in Photoshop. So we can take this and say, all right, it's uh, perfectly exposed. We like the settings that we have in Lightroom. Uh, we're just going to make use of the additional workflow that's within this. So we're selecting that. Uh, in terms of you need to store uh, that file, the export from Lightroom somewhere. So what I've done is uh, with all of my other ones, I have a folder called my dump files on my storage drive, and that has my watermarked web, my web image, uh, screen res images, PSD backups, print image outputs ready to go to the lab, and the Lightroom outputs, which is where we'll choose right now to send this image. So we selected that. As far as our file settings, we could work with our original, our DNG, we'll store all this, the output settings from Lightroom. If I work with JPEG, keep in mind that it's going to be a lossy form. For simplicity, we're just going to leave it as a PSD right now. Our heavy lifting and color adjustments have all been done in Lightroom, so I'm just going to leave that as an 8-bit Adobe 98 color space. Got all that set. And before I click export, we're going to look over on this side, I'm going to click add. This allows me to add a new preset. This is going to be, I'm going to call this the same as the droplet. And we create. Now look at that. That is now sitting there in one of my user presets. So I'm able to make use of that uh, at any time. When I click export, the image is going to be processed. Uh, the raw image is going to be processed within Lightroom and be sent out to Photoshop to go through the production work that exists through here. So we'll do that. And so it's working on that. And in, in Photoshop, it's going to go through some creative color adjustments, selective softening, edge vignetting, prepping the image for web, print, and low res screen, or rather uh, your PSD backup. It's gone through everything that I need on that image, and it's finished. If I come back in and look in my storage drive within the dump files, there's the file output from Lightroom. Here's the print image output in a JPEG format ready to send to the lab. Here's my PSD backup. And here's my web resolution ready to show to clients, drop into uh, feature shows or client previews for selecting. It's completely retouched. We just did it on one image. We can just as easily do it on 100 images or 1,000 images. So let's come back into Lightroom. And now we're going to uh, go back into our library mode. We had this one image selected before. Now for simplicity, let's just take two others. So we've got these that are ready for their production. Again, it could just as easily be 200 or 2000. We've done all our exposure adjustments, all the different things that we wanted to do within Lightroom with our RAW and or our JPEG images. So now we can come up and instead of going to our export, we can go export with preset and you'll see that we now have that preset we just created. Pretty soon you'll find that you'll have a whole number of presets as you create them for each individual uh, droplet that you uh, had put within there. So this is our first one. We launch the images with that. It's going through, doing the production through Lightroom, then sending the images out into Photoshop. And you can see how quick this is. Imagine uh, you've got portrait session with a couple of different exposure variations. You looked after that in Lightroom, and now you're doing all of your post-production with the Craig's Actions production assistance. Uh, it's working everything, ready to go to the lab, ready to show your client, and with your PSD backup. And this is done. doesn't really take long. Okay, it's almost done now. Now it's done. So that was our other one that we had up before. So you can see how quickly uh, your production can take, uh, can take form by making use of the 
Craig's actions, uh, production assistance, creating the droplets of them, uh, and then bringing those into Lightroom so that you're able to marry the two processes, the production that you're doing in Lightroom with the full production that you need in Photoshop. And that and other tutorials you can find over at www.craigsactions.com. Look at that. I even spelled it right. Who'd have thunk it? Thanks. Now go play.